What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. Valorant is an immensely popular competitive shooter and was one of the first games to add support for NVIDIA Reflex, which improves responsiveness by lowering system latency. To celebrate the launch of Valorant's Episode 5 Act 1, we worked with Riot Games and Ron Lee Christensen of Blue Horse Studios to build a very special Valorant-themed PC. Well, hey, Ron. Welcome back to GeForce Garage. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a couple of years. Glad to have you back. What did you bring us today? I brought you a Valorant Radiantite crate. Nice. So how did you come up with the concept for this build? We worked with NVIDIA and Riot Games, and they came back with this Radiantite crate idea. In the previous seasons, the Radiantite crate was teal in the Alpha Earth. Now they're introducing a new map called Pearl on Omega Earth. And on Omega Earth, the crates are orange. So the two colors are colliding within the crate to represent the rift between the two worlds. Well, obviously you've done a lot of modifications to the case. Can you walk us through the different stuff that you've done? Yeah, so we basically just removed all the glass panels and then created our own acrylic panels. We painted all the panels a flat black and then we coated everything with a graphite powder, which gave it this soft metal finish. Once that was done, we took some Scotch-Brite and some sandpaper to scuff up the surface to give it that brush metal finish that the crate has right now. So this isn't polystyrene, it's all acrylic? Yeah, polystyrene is actually one of my favorite materials, but since we are running the material through a laser cutter, we chose to use acrylic on this part of the build. And can you tell us a little bit more about the actual platform that it's on? Is that all acrylic? That's or? all acrylic as well. We've actually built the shell out of MDF and then we skinned it with the same acrylic that we created the panels of the Radiantite crate with. We gave it the same paint job, same texturing, and same dry brush finish to give it that weathered finish to it. So can you tell us a little bit more in detail about how you created your own windows for this? Yeah, so we used two different colors of acrylic. The light blue really wasn't on point, so we added a little bit of a green film to the back of it. And then we also ran those pieces of acrylic through the laser cutter to engrave that design on the Radiantite crates. And I noticed you have like little LEDs embedded in there as well. Yeah, there's LEDs that are all in the center, ran the wire up the back side of the case so you can't see it when it's shining and then hit it all behind the back panel. Okay, well, you've done a great job on the outside, but what are the actual specs of the case? So we started off with the Azacube 802 gaming chassis. We have an Asus TUF Z690 motherboard, uh, Intel i7-12700K processor, uh, M.2 drive by Samsung Evo, it's a two terabyte drive. We have 64 gigs of the Corsair Vengeance Pro memory, a thousand watt power supply, and of course, the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. Nice. Well, I think that the only thing left is to install Valorant and see how well it performs. Let's do it. So after installing Valorant, cranking the settings all the way up and setting Reflex to on plus boost, I was seeing about 500 FPS at 1080p on average, around 350 to 400 at 1440p, and about 250 FPS at 4K. And because of Reflex, my game to render latency was at an incredible 5 milliseconds on average. Big thanks to Riot Games and Ron for bringing this idea to life. There is a ton of power in this little cube and it would be a great addition to anyone's battle station. To see how you can win this PC or one of three GeForce RTX 3080 Ti Founders Edition GPUs, check out the link in the description and good luck. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more, hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you for the next one.